Mufasa. What's up, YouTube? Ricky T here, CFG Studios, your flamenco guitar coach. Uh, in this video, we're going to watch together a video by Chick Corea. Uh, the video, it talks about how to get a certain feeling in your play, right? Like you ever play the guitar or play any, any, any instrument for that matter and, you know, reach a point where you say, oh, I, I can play well, but like something's missing. Like I don't have that that vibe, I don't have that feeling, I don't have that groove that I really want. Um, so in this video, we're gonna talk about that, right? Chick talks about it um, very quickly, but uh, he, he hits on the poignant points. He hits on the points that are most um, you know, important. Uh, and, and I'll just give you a, a sneak peek. It's, it's around copying, it's around imitating, right? So let's go ahead and dive on in. I'm gonna, Put it somewhere over here and it's going to show up and boom we're going to start watching it all right all right so i can improvise 30 years of lessons but i don't sound hip and cool and jazzy how do i get the swinging accents etc into my music i do listen so he's reading a letter obviously from somebody um from i think well one of his fans somebody who who wrote in and then posed posed this question here and transcribe it still doesn't sound the same you know that's that's real simple uh colleen i mean one way of learning that is is useful is doing what a, a little bit of what we're doing now which is i'm i'm telling you stuff and you're listening and so forth or you read a book or like you said you uh you listen and transcribe which is very good practice now see these are the normal ways not normal but these are the common ways that we learn and they're very effective right they work People read books, people, people, people go to school, people take lessons, you know, th that's very, very useful, very helpful. I mean, I do it myself. We, we preach that also at CFG. Uh, however, you know, he's, he's, he's about to touch on, 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 on something that's not very common, that's not very known. And this is what will help you to take it to the next level, right? Or better yet, to fill in the gaps of all the knowledge that you got from the books from school, from your teacher, right? Uh, check it. All, all of that's great. But to really get the spirit of what it is that you'd like to have in your music, you have to go spend some time with those kind of musicians. You yeah. either have to go hear them would be one way. The best way would be to go play with them. So find someone who has this quality that you want, which is yep. swinging accents and, and so forth, hip, cool, and jazzy. Find some musicians in your area or wherever that play with something of a feel like that yep. and play with them. Play. Go out and have some coffee with them or if you don't drink coffee, whatever, get together. Because I find just, just the, uh, uh, the human part of that is that there's a, there's a lot of different ways to be. You can be a lot of different ways. Yeah. You have the choice of the way you want to be. Sometimes we get stuck in being one way. We think, well, the way I am is this way. I'm not hip. I'm kind of square. Yeah. It may be a fixed idea in your mind. And, and uh, if you take the example of, uh, of a really good actor, you know, I, I was watching Robin Williams last night. Robin Williams made a movie called Man of the Year, where he was president of the United States, almost. And so I, I never heard the movie before. It's a really good movie, but Robin himself is an amazing, Robin Williams is an amazing example mm -hmm. of, a, of a, an entertainer and an actor who could be almost anything. Like, as soon as he saw a person or heard a spe person speak, he could imitate him. Just like him. That's, that's it. That's the key. He can imitate him. He can, he can, you know, the ability to imitate, the ability to copy Right? It's why we're so like impressed by parrots. Like when they're able to just sound with the voice and everything, they're able to copy and, and imitate because they learn, right? So I'm a polyglot. I speak a couple of languages. How, 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 I, how do I do that? Or how I do that is by copying, right? One of the biggest things that I do is I, I, I find an artist, I find music that I like. I find books that I like to read. I find, I find writers, I find artists, I find people who produce content that I like. And then I copy those people, right? Well, when you say copy, it's, it's I'm, I'm copying, but I'm learning through copying, right? Like my accent, my Spanish accent is Caribbean. Why? Because when I started learning Spanish, I listened to music 
from Puerto Rico. I listened to, you know, music from the DR. Like, therefore, you know, I, I found artists, I watched their interviews and I copied them. And I started to speak like them, right? I started to use their slangs, to use their gesticulations, the way they, the way they talk. Same thing works in music. This is a universally applicable method to learn. Copying, you learn through copying. It's gonna to get to it more. And he could say the words of the person, voice actors and, and uh, impersonators and so forth. If you take that idea into your own life, these qualities that you're mentioning of hip, cool, and jazzy, you gotta be them in order to do them. Yeah. It's not a technical thing. Yeah. So if you hang out with someone yeah. that's hip, cool, and jazzy, uh, and play with them. I think that's the thing to do. One thing you could try, if you can't find someone like that in your immediate area, it's something that I did when I was uh, learning to play back in New York in the 60s, in the 60s. is <clears throat> you find um, a recording of someone whose groove that you really like, that you would like to try to emulate. G get some headphones that are kind of... Uh, where you could hear your own playing. I'm assuming that you're a pianist, but you could you don't have to be a pianist. But maybe you're whatever your instrument is. Get some headphones, put on the track that you like, and transcribe it like you do. Transcribe it, and then play it exactly with the track. Like try and play exactly the feel and the touch and everything, and and you'll get into what the physical flow of it is. I used to do that with Bud Powell's recordings. I used to put up two speakers, you know, in the hi-fi days, back of me here, and I'd, I'd put on the uh, LP, and then I'd play to it Boom. and try to get every nuance of what Bud was doing. And it really helped me see how Bud was being, even how his body motions kind of were in order to make the phrases that he was body playing. Body motions, what did I say? So body that's another phrases. idea. But the best idea is to get with, uh, get with the musicians who have the feel that, that you like. Super great content right there, right? So that's really what it is. It's, it's, it's copying. He, he made a couple of great points right there, you know, in saying that a feeling, be, be, being able to play with a certain feeling, that's not a technique. That's, that's a trait. That's a characteristic that you acquire, right? You acquire that by being around that, either being around it, you know, in, physically or being around it virtually. And not just being around it, but actually engaging, interacting with it, right? So here at CFGLA, we follow Paco, right? Paco's long and gone. He's up there playing pulerias with Camarón again and, and, and everybody else, right? So, but we, so we can't be with them physically. We can, we can, however, do exactly what Chick said. We can put on an album and we can copy from them. We can learn, we can play with them, right? When we study... Here at C CFG, we study with the discs. We study with the albums. We, we, will, we will slow down the music, of course, Paco, Paco plays too fast, right? But we analyze it. We, we, we break it down and, and, and we really play with the music. I mean, the goal is to play with the music. Obviously, if you're starting off brand new, you're not gonna pick up the guitar from scratch and just start playing with Paco. But Everything that we're doing, the goal is to get you to play, to be able to play with Paco, whether it's in, in, in the background, just playing the, the, the chords, or, or, or whether you're going to do the solo, you're really going to actually play the falseta, whatever the case may be, our goal is to get you there, right? Whatever your goal is, our goal is to get you there, but it's going to be somewhere along the lines of getting to Paco right playing how he plays copying him we learn from him right and in in some of the other videos i was talking about that where you know every time we study every piece that we pick up and dissect we we, we continuously learn i continuously learn everyone continuously learns if you're analyzing it right we have a tool we have the tools of analysis so we dig into our toolbox and we pick a piece and we analyze that piece. We use the same tools on every piece. So we're trying to give you guys the tools. We're trying to share these tools with you so that you can analyze the pieces by yourself. Mark, the goal is not to be in CFG studio taking lessons forever. 
I mean, we want you to be a part of the family, but it's, 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 it's really to get you to the point where you now have the bag of tools and you can go out and in your own study, you can dissect the piece and you can take little snippets that you like, right? In jazz, they call them licks. Oh man, that's a cool lick. That's a cool lick. Well, the term lick, you know, that exists everywhere. If you, if you want to think about it, a lick is like a phrase, it's an idiom, it's a, it's a short phrase that you can pick up and put anywhere. We get that by studying Paco. And so you'll start to sound like Paco, right? Last thing I want to say is uh, some, 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 there are a lot of people who criticize, you know, um, Maestro Ruben Diaz. So tell him he sounds too much like Paco, he doesn't have his own sound, and all he's doing is copying Paco. He's learning from Paco. He knows more Paco pieces than I bet anyone in the world. I bet all my assets right now that he knows more Paco pieces than anyone in the world. He can pick up and play right now. Whether or not he, he knows them all, right? Whether or not he knows them all, he knows more than anyone else. And he's learned from that. Why? Because he's learned by doing this exact same step. Copying. Imitating. Not imitating, though, to go in and just play only their pieces, but imitating to take from it, to learn from it, and then to progress it, All right? So, hey, hope you found this video helpful. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, see you guys next time.